I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about program to print triangle pattern like this format. So suppose enter the number. So I enter five. So I have this is the output. We have to get first is one, next three two, four five six, ten nine, eight seven, eleven twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So let's do it. Next, I'm going to discuss about the trend method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here, after that, coincides so that I've created a scanner class object LC by using new keyword a scanner class system class dot int. Here, after control comes to this point, so I've taken integer variable n. Next is n1. Here, after c1, sorry, not c1, c and Okay. So add n1 and c in its rise to 1. Here after control comes to this point system class dot all dot print method. So what are we into code that display into the output screen? So into the number so that display into the output screen. Here n equal to lc dot next int method. So next int method because whatever that accept any string value. So by the help of sc object or dot operator, so that call next int method so that convert. All string value into integer and that go to n. So I'm going to enter n value 3. Here control comes to this point for int i start from 1. So one more variable i. So that is start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to n value 3. Condition is 2 that coincides so at k equal to n1 minus 1. So n1 value is 1. 1 minus 1. k is now 0. Here after Control comes to this point for int j start from 1. So next variable is j. So that is start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to n1 value, also 1. Condition is to that coincide. So if j mod 2, so j value is 1, 1 mod 2, remainder come 1. 1 over equal to 0, condition is not 2. So that go to else part here. If i mod 2, so i value is 1, 1 mod 2, remainder come 1. 1 over equal to 0, condition is not 2. So that go to as part here system cross dot or dot print. So that print C value. So C value is one. So one print. Here after post increment. So that increase the value of C. So this is two now. So here after that out from as part. So this is bracket is for as and this bracket is related to this. So here after 
that continue the inner for loop. Now control comes to this point that increase the value of j. So j is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than equal to n1. So n1 value is 1, 2 less than equal to 1. Condition is false. So that not coincide here. Control comes to this point. n1 equal to n1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2, n1 become 3. And hereafter system class dot r dot print method slash and then cursor bring to the new line. Hereafter that go and increase the value of i. So i is now 1. 2, 2. So one i is 1, 1 plus 1. The value is 2 now. Here after check the condition 2 less than equal to n. So n value is 3. Condition is to that concept. So I do k equal to n1 minus 1. So n1 is 3, 3 minus 1. So k is now 2. Here after control comes to this point. For int j start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to n1 value 3. Condition is to that coincide if here yeah, if j mod 2. So j value is now 1, 1 mod 2, remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is false. So that go to as part here. If i mod 2, so i value is now 2. So 2 mod 2, remainder come 0, condition is to that coincide. So I have system class dot r dot print method. So that print k plus c minus n1 plus i value. So k value is now 2. And here after uh, c value also 2 minus n1 value 3 plus i value 2. So 2 plus 2 plus 2, the value comes 6. 6 minus 3, the value comes 3. So add here that print, or 3 add here. Here after c increase, so c is 3 now. Check the, uh, here, k equal to k minus 2. So 2 minus 2, the value comes 0. And here, if condition is 2, so that not go to as part. And here after that comes to this point, so that increase the value of j. So j is now 2, check the condition 2 less than equal to n value, n1 value 3, condition is 2, so right here if j mod 2, so 2 mod 2, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is 2, so right, go to this point, system close to out dot print, so that print is space, so right here space print, here after that increase the value of j, so j is now 3, or check the condition 3 less than equal to n1 value, also 3, condition is 2, that coincides right here if j mod 2. So 3 mod 2, remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not 2, so that not print. Here as part, if i mod 2, so i value is 2, 2 mod 2, remainder come 0, condition is 2, so that print, system dot order print, so print k. So k value is now 0, plus c value, or 3, minus n1 value, 3 plus i value 2. So 3 minus 3, the value comes 0. 0 plus 2, the value comes 2. So that print 2. Here after c increase, so c is now 3 to 4. And here after k equal to k minus 2. So k value is now minus 2. Here after if condition is 2, so that not go to as part. Here after control comes to this point. So that increase the value of j. 4. Or check the condition for less than equal to n1 value 3. Condition is false, so that not coincide here. Control comes to this point, so at n1 equal to n1 plus 2. So n1 value is 3, 3 plus 2, the value comes 5. Here after system cross dot order print slash and then cursor bring to the new line. Here after that go increase the value of i. So i is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than equal to n value. Also 3 condition is true. So that coincides so at k equal to n1 minus 1. So n1 value is 5, 5 minus 1, k is now 4. So k value is 4. Here after 4, j start from 1. And check the condition 1 less than equal to n1 value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So that if 1 mod 2. So 1 mod 2 remainder come 1. 1 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. So that not that go to as part here. If i mod 2. So i value is 3 now, 3 mod 2 remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is false, so that go to as part here, system dot order print, so that it print the value of c, so c value is 4, so 4 print, here after post increment, so c is now 5. Now next to that control comes to inner for loop, so at your j increase, so j is now or 2, check the condition 2 less than equal to n1 value 5, condition is 2, so that coincides at if j mod 2. So at here 2 mod 2, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is or 2. So system class dot or dot print, so that print is space. So here is space print. 
here after you know for loop continues so j is now 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to n1 value 5 condition is true so that coincides right here if j mod 2 so j value is now 3 3 mod 2 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is uh, not true so control comes to this point if i mod 2 so i value is now 3 3 mod 2 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is false so that not go to if part here as system class dot r dot print so that print c value so c value is 5 so 5 print and here after that increase the value of c so c is now 6 here after control again back to this point j increases so j is now uh, 4 to 5 sorry 4 here 4 less than equal to n1 value 5 condition is uh, true so that coincides right here j value is now 4 4 more to remainder come 0 0 equal to 0 condition is uh, true so that coincides system dot order print so that print is space so since uh, this condition is true so that not go to as what here after j value increase so j is now uh, 5 here check the condition 5 less than equal to n1 value also 5 condition is uh, true so that coincides so if j mod 2 so j value is now 5 5 mod 2 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is not true so control comes to as part if i mod 2 so i value is 3 3 mod 2 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is uh, not true so that go to as part so that increase the uh, that print c value so c value is 6 6 print here after post increment, so c is now 6 to 7. Here after that out from as part here, inner for loop continues, so j is now 5 to 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to n1 value, 5 condition is not true, so that out uh, for inner for loop here control comes to this point, n1 equal to n1 plus 2, so 5 plus 2, so n1 is now 7. System dot out dot print, so slash and then cursor print to the new line. Here after that go up in or uh, that go up and upper for loop so that increase the value of i. So i is now 4 and here i into n value 3. So 4 less than equal to 3 condition is false. So that out from upper for loop makes that out from main method. So if you enter n value 3, so you will get the output this 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6. So if you enter n value 4, so you will get the output at here or 10. Next is 8, sorry 9, here after 8 and here 7. So according to n, the output change. So at, at here you should try to enter n value 5 and do the same try and method. So definitely you will get the expected output. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.